do, which needs doing because it needs posting. So that's, and it took me nearly all day yesterday. I lost one of my die cutting metal things you do to, to cut shapes and things. I lost, well, I didn't lose it. it. I couldn't find it. I looked, I looked everywhere it should have been. Yeah, I looked everywhere it should have been about three times and mm. it, it was wearing me out, you know, because you get yourself all worked up about it because it's a, they're not, well, number one, they're not cheap, but number two, it's a nice one that I've got. Anyway, I found it somewhere it shouldn't have been, but anyway, eventually. <laughs> that's, that's right, do, you, do you have it to share with us, to show us, or have you already mailed it? What, the card? Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, it's drying at the minute. It's, um... Oh. Oh, they oh, oh no, curing. That's that's curing. when you when you yeah when you when you're professional. It's curing at the moment, yeah. so um, we can't see it. Sounds like smoke. I'll, I'll get my husband to bring it, it in a minute. Doesn't it? But it's, I mean, it's only a it's only a birthday card, but it's um, but yeah. So I've got to make one for a, that was for a twenty one year old, and then I've got to make one for a three year old. So oh, wow. um, I think I might do a pop up box so that when she opens it, the pot it all the little bits pop up at the top. I think I might do that for a, a clever. Three yeah that sounds quite nice so I've, I've got at least i've got half an idea of it sometimes you sit down and you make boom you go you know it's it's fine it's there and it comes and and other times you just sit and you can't even decide the color of the card you know the actual basic card but so, so that's been but anyway but is that your hobby stella because i didn't know that, that yeah. you I, I started when I moved down here ones. about mm. 20 years. Thank you, Julia. About 20 years ago, um, one of the nurses that I work with, she wanted to start doing it. And she said, what about if we buy a kit between us and try it? Just, you know, a card mm. kit. See yeah. what if we like it or anything. Well, I could kill her because here we are 20 years later and I'm about, I don't know how many thousands pound lighter. And um, so, yeah. Oh. But yeah, so it's it's a big hobby. It takes over the whole of one room. I've got one room completely. Oh. Why didn't you show us this room yes. yet? Yes. Oh, you crikey. I mean, I, I we'll do it another I really... day. We'll do it on another day. We need to see them. We do. I don't know if you can see it, but that's my Easter card. Oh, that's very nice. That, that lovely, oh. you know, it's an Easter card which um, uh, Stella had made. Yes. Stella, it's amazing. I it, like <laughs> so yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, it's only very amateur. I mean, it's a bit. Some is it? Seriously, it doesn't look like amateur. That's what really Julia good. said. I just me. really enjoy doing it. I just. That's how she, clever she is. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, they all look very, very professional. Okay, Stella. I like my we, efforts. Yeah. Okay, Stella, can we please have a session, Zoom session, with you, teaching yes. us how to do it? Please, it would be lovely. Yeah, I would, I, you know, yeah. Shall we have a scissors on that for the <laughs> let me let me let me get rid of this card over and done with and a couple more that I've got to do and then um And you think about it. We'll do one for we'll do one so you can have a Christmas, a nice Christmas card or something. Because mm. I hate to tell you, Christmas isn't that far away and it's depressing, isn't it, really? But I know, I know. If, if you really wanted to get carried away, if we wanted to try, um we could arrange a way, I'm sure, to post out some materials and stuff like that if you thought people needed it. If we, if, if you said to us, we have a little bit of budget, you could say, yeah, buy, you know, red card and stickers or I don't know, whatever. Well, how about if I find something and I'll do kits and I'll send them to you and you can post them out to all your people? We could do that if it's, yeah, we can figure it out. So we, we talk, Stella. We st we, we talk. <laughs> you and me, you and me, Harry. Yeah, Harry. Got it, got it, yeah. Oh, I, saw one, amazing. I, bought one, uh, I bought one the other day that's one of these ones that you open up and it, it pops out like... Um, and it oh, was they're really clever. Flying birds, it was amazing. Yeah. yeah, I've not made one of those like that yet, but yeah, they're amazing. It was a fiver, which I thought was... Oh, quite expensive one, do you think? But it was beautiful. Oh, yeah, it was yeah. Beautiful. Was it like a done by, uh, by made by hand and by uh, like a designer or? Uh, no, I don't think so. It was like in a mass produced kind of shop. So, yeah. Those cards are expensive, though. I mean, but but, it's worth it. I mean, it's special. It, it's, it, that's it. And if it's a and also if it's a special card, it's worth it. I think it's you know. This isn't going to have much time if we go chatting on. Oh yes, yeah, normal. 
just a point. Good to see you, Toby, uh, just quickly. Sorry, you? Yeah, hi, Toby, nice to see you. Hi. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing okay, thank you. Yeah. Have you seen your son yet? Because he wasn't, or was it your son or your daughter that was in quarantine? Oh, my daughter. Your daughter no, she's sorry. still in quarantine this, this uh, last week. Okay. Yeah, been a nuisance. Mm. Yeah. Good to is see she you feeling anyway. well? How is she feeling? How is she? She's all right. She's, I don't know. I think it's all a bit unnecessary. Mm -hmm. They come Amen. in and they don't feel ill. Mm -hmm. And they got quarantined for two weeks. It's a bit much, isn't it? I presume maybe because the, the you know, for not to spread it out and to pr protect others from, from that. So that's perhaps the, the reason. Yeah. Yeah, half the, half the population has got coronavirus in some way or other. So, <laughs> anyhow, this isn't the time. <laughs> so, Julia, how are you doing? I'm fine. I had my daughter from Scotland for a couple of days over the weekend and she's gone home and I'm getting back to normal. But it was a nice visit. Gosh, that'll be a new thing, Julia. Hey? That'll be new for you, getting back to normal. <laughs> <laughs> well you know you don't do anything when you've got visitors do you except what they want to do but I went down in the car with them to my brother and we had tea in the garden so that was nice because I oh, couldn't lovely. get to Dartmouth normally so it was lovely yeah good thank you and how are you Kathleen how are you doing any highlights from London or other well yeah, I, I had a couple of weeks in London with my daughter and we took advantage of Rishi Sunak's eat out scheme, ate out many times, uh, went, went places like the British Museum where there was no crowds and oh. you could get close to all the exhibits. And then my daughter came back with me on the train and stayed with me for a week here in Torquay. And, oh, and we nice. kept, kept on eating, <laughs> <laughs> kept on eating. And uh, went to some fun places. And uh, like Julia said, she's gone and we're getting back to normal. Yeah. <laughs> Very sad. <laughs> Looks like you've had a lovely time, both of you actually, with your, with your daughters. That was lovely. That's great. Thank you. Right, so we've got Lise. How are you, Lise? And maybe. I'm fine. I'm fine. Um, I think it's just the third time that I've joined you. So. I don't know your names and I, well, I, I recognize a couple of faces. Um, so I might have to ask names and things like that. Can, um, you see, can you see names on the screen? If I put my cursor on, then the names come up. Yeah, okay. but, but the names aren't there unless I put a cursor arrow on it. Oh. In uh, gallery view, Liz. Sorry? Can you see all of us on the screen at once? No, I can see a linear row along the top of the page. Okay, okay Harry, maybe you can... A large, a large one of each of you that is talking. Yeah, so if you go, uh, I think, into your top right corner, you can press, it says speak of, uh, it says gallery view, I should say. Oh, speak of you. So that's where it says zoom.us. No, I oh. don't know. It, there should be somewhere that says gallery view or um, it has... A, a box. No, I can Okay, I it's show you. I don't really like to mess with it in case something goes wrong. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, she's got our names all across the top, hasn't she? Yes. Uh, how can I share? Can I show? No, I now, now I've got a row of you down the bottom and I can see one of the poems up here. I don't know why that... Like is. in right. here, I think it's somewhere, it's uh, somewhere let's, let's, here. Aggie, let's just do the, let's just forget yeah. about it. Let's do the thing. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's best that it stays as it is, or else I'm going to get a bit stressed. <laughs> of course, don't worry, we don't want you to, to get stressed, Elizabeth. <laughs> no, well, I'm, I'm okay. I'm, I have been very ill um, for the last couple of months. I've been very poorly, but I mm. seem to have turned a corner. At, at the moment, I'm getting a lot better, so I'm feeling I'm getting life back a bit, which is lovely, you know, so... 
just hope it continues. <laughs> Definitely, you will. Mm. You want okay, to say um, a bit about um, about what you do as for your writings and, and stuff? Because I know you you've got right. quite well, I, um, history. I haven't really been writing much at all this summer because I have been so you know poorly. But um, I have written on and off most of my life. Um, I was lucky enough to get a two book deal with a major um, you know publisher, but that was about twelve years ago. And although I got a very good advance, um, it all came to a bit of a grinding halt after that, but, you know, because the books didn't sell as well as they'd hoped. And although I have written a few novels since, I haven't been able to place them because the first thing they do is look, look at what they call your track record. And if the sales have been low, then nobody wants to give you a second chance. I've had some very, very good like feedback from my last novel but um you know they don't want to risk on me again it seems so it's a bit sad but still that's where i am i haven't given up hope because i'm actually writing a novel another novel now uh which is set in 1967 so you could look upon it as a bit of a like you know period novel because anyone who's lived as long as that and has lived through the 60s um you know to the young ones now that sort of you know you know bygone time so it's um it's sort of a period novel in a way and i think that's an advantage because you can't accuse it of being dated then because it's you know it's set right back then sort of thing i've got a good feeling about it i don't want to talk about it too much you know because i think that can bring about a bit of bad luck if you talk about it too much but i've got a good feeling about it and i will and i definitely will carry on and finish it and then, you know, who who knows? This may be the one that will re relaunch me. I don't know. <laughs> but in in between times, I've written short stories, and I've also written a lot of po poetry. And I I have a bit of a reputation locally because I've won their um, the local part of the Timmouth Poetry Festival competition three times <laughs> but oh, I've, won, oh. I've won it so often they've um they've kind of like you know subtly asked me not to enter again to give others a chance which i <laughs> which i am going to do <laughs> so i'm very very keen on po poetry and i've run quite a few creative writing classes and i love to teach you know creative writing not uh, just writing poems but writing prose as well um so that's 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 good mm. thank you liz okay okay thank you for this uh, lovely introduction and shall we start you tell me what i'm supposed to do and i will follow your instructions well what how i'd like to start to help me to get to know you all a little bit more and to warm up i would like us to take it in turns just to say a few bits about our relationship to po poetry whether we love it, hate it, or don't don't really care, um, if if we read it much, if we've ever tried to write it, just a few words about your relationship to to poems and you know poet poetry. Perhaps we could start with you, Aggie. With me? Oh, okay. <laughs> so well, I I um. Uh, I actually love poetry, but I actually read in read in Polish. I don't read English poetry, so it's going. It, this yeah. session might be a challenge for me, if I'm honest, because I know that poetry have lots. You know, when you read po poet poetry, like some poems, there are lots of meanings, lots of like under uh, you know second meaning. Some words might be very sublime. Uh, or unique to like everyday dictionary so I think it might be quite challenging for me but my background is a teacher I used to study Polish um, literature oh, so wow. the, um, and I'm a teacher I can I can see I'm a, my qualifications are, are teaching qualifications so I, I could teach high school and college in Poland um, and obviously, I start. I, you know, I was studying that because it was my it was my hobby, my interest. Um, at the moment, any you know, my main of poetry I I read is for my children. So like uh, ch children, mm, poet poets, 
um, Polish mainly. Um, so like lots of funny, you know, short, um, even like limericks, but also funny short poems uh, uh, for kids. Uh, but I actually, I, I, I like reading po poetry. I like reading books as well. So yes, it's like something I, I'm, you know, I'm looking forward to okay. and challenge myself. Is it possible for you to give, give me a couple of names of some of your favorite Polish poets? One yes, I can. Do you want me to, to look them up? See if I can get anything in trans, trans, translation. Okay, so for example, Jan Brzechwa. <laughs> oh my God! How's that? I know. Oh, maybe I can just like write it down yeah. for you. <laughs> yeah, I think you better send it later on an email. Yeah. Oh, maybe I could do that as well. But I also like um, poets from the um, Second World War, like young poets who right. died during the Second World War. So um, Krzysztof Baczyński, that's another one which is who's my favorite. Um, he, who di he died when he was like 21 years old, but he was a poet oh, during yeah. the, the occupation in uh, Poland and mainly, yeah, he, he used to live in Warsaw. So when the war, so a, a, praise, a praise of Warsaw, is that the correct English word when Warsaw yeah, um, started fighting against Germany, so that was uh, well, I, yeah. I would, I, I, that. Um, I would love to read work by both those poets because I'm okay. very that you know they sort of what you know what happened in Poland in the Second World War. I suspect it's fairly heavy stuff, but it needs stories that need to be told. Mm. Yeah, and my interest in poetry usually is around the 20th century, so it's like the, the, the previous uh, century, like from 90s onwards, not previous, I'm not really keen to like, like middle age poetry or things like that, so, okay. Okay. yeah. Great, right, thank you, Aggie. Uh, Harry? Um, yeah, uh, I actually write poetry and perform poetry uh, at events in just like open mic nights in Exeter mm. and, and the place so yeah um, I, I listen to a lot of uh, like hip-hop like rap music over the years and so that before I realized it I, I just I keep a journal and I realized that I was writing stuff um, so from then I've yeah, perform stuff sometimes, and um, I like. What do you yeah. call your 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 work? What's known now as a uh, spoken word art, or yeah, more like that spoken word. Poems stuff, yeah. to be read on the page, or is it poems to be like you know delivered? Started, up, started off started off more spoken word, but I am finding myself writing more stuff that is less like you know performance based. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good, right. So, yeah. Do you know the names of any of your favourite, like, you know, performance poets? If there any? Many. <laughs> I've, I've been to one or two events locally of, of that nature. Um, I must admit, I did start off being a little bit of a kind of poetry snob. It was like, oh, it's got to be a poem, you know, written yeah. for the page, not like, you know, performance. But I am beginning to shift. I've, I've, I've considered sharing stuff with the group. It, and it has a place, yeah. I've, I've considered sharing stuff with this group in the past, but I figured it would probably make people go, ah! <laughs> well, it'd be good, yeah, we need to hear it. Otherwise, we don't know about what's going on, do we? Yes. <laughs> We need. Oh, we don't have to like it, but it's good that we need to hear it. Yeah, maybe one day, hopefully, something. So okay. Um, it's cat, isn't it? Cat. Next. Yeah. Um, not had a lot of exposure to writing poetry. We did a lot, obviously, at school. I have some favourite poets, um, but I think they all tend to be older people. A lot of them are American, Edgar Allan Poe, Robert Frost, people like that. Mm. Um, just not really had any opportunity to write poetry. Okay. Robert, Robert Frost is one of my favourites. I and love he, Robert Frost. He's got a very modern voice. 
it, it's not dated at all you know i think it can be read now and, and feel very much of our, our times as well you know what, what about edgar Allan poe do you find him dark i, I haven't read any of his poet poetry i've only read some of his short stories oh. which i do find very dark <laughs> yeah um annabelle lee is one of my favorites no, I haven't heard of her, no. Oh. I will write her down. Yeah. Right. Annabelle Lee. It was many and many a year ago in a kingdom by the sea. Okay. Nice. Emily Dickinson is very good. She's another American yeah. poet. Yeah. That era too. Mm. Okay. Um, Stella, isn't it, next? Yeah, well, as you'd expect, I'm very uncultured and a bit of a philistine as far as poetry. <laughs> not yet, Stella. Don't put uh, yourself down. <laughs> um, so I, I do write things, but I, I'm a bit of a Pam Ayres type girl, really myself. <laughs> and everything has to, everything has to rhyme. I can't, I don't like stuff when they just say things. That's not poetry to, to me. That's not poetry. So okay. I'm, I do write. I have written stuff before, and. I do write, I go to the Salvation Army, so we're, we're very much into music. So I do tend to write new lyrics to original music. So I've done that quite a bit before. Mm. Um, the voice is gone. Blimey, that's a first. Oh. <laughs> Have you got yes. me back? Have you got me back, love? Cool, that's a yes. sad um, Yeah, so I, as I say, I've done, you know, sort of different lyrics when we've had special occasions on for different things which are pertinent at the time. So as I say, mine... Mine is very basic. I enjoy doing it. I love, right, if somebody says, can you do something for this occasion? I love being able to do it. Um, <laughs> but as I say, it's, I'm say very, it. yeah, I'm, I'm very ordinary. Okay, you well, like writing, that's great. Let's, let's see if we can stretch you a little bit and perhaps introduce you to writing things that don't have to rhyme. But um, then again, it doesn't matter if they do. It doesn't matter. Um, You've got a new person coming in. C hello. Hello, I'm sorry. Um, I forgot the password, so I had to ring my daughter, Sasha. Sorry, Harry. Messed no, up it's again. Right. It's Audrey. That... Yes, I'm here. It's yeah. Audrey. Yeah, yeah. It's just, I just changed your name so everyone uh, knows your name. So it's good to have you back, Audrey. Thanks for joining. Thank you. We're just, um, we've got um, Liz joining us today. and. She um, is going to lead us in some create, uh, sort of creative writing. So do whatever you feel comfortable with, of course. But uh, we're just going around sort of saying a little bit about if we have any experience or interest in that at all. So whether you do or don't, do you, do you want to say? Do you do you like any writing? Do you like any poetry to read it or anything like that in your life? Um, yes, I did. I did have a bash at poetry years ago. But um, I've I've lapsed actually, but I do like reading it and listening to it, so that would be a joy. If somebody had yeah. something to offer. Yeah, oh, beautiful. Uh, Great. Right. So who is who is next? I think, uh, maybe. There was another lady. Yeah. Who, yeah. Ace yeah. has gone from my line. Julia. 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 Or Toby. Okay. Um, is it Toby? Yes. Oh no, oh, that's Toby. Toby. Okay. Julia. Which one is it? Tony Julia. Or Julia. Okay. Yeah. I like um, Sax Siegfried Sassoon and the War Poets, mm. which is a bit grim at times, but very real. Um, and Rupert Brooke. Oh, yeah. Um, yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, the Great Lover, yeah. I think it's called. Yeah. That, that's my favourite. And everybody ever asked me, saying I was chop the middle bit out and it, because you could when you're at a meeting with other ladies reading poetry, um, yeah, the one off occasionally, um, that's the bit I always choose and I think it's beautiful. I quite like T.S. Eliot, but to be honest, I'm quite happy to try all sorts of um, poetry and my daughter gave me a, oh, um, a book by um, one of the, the vicars, George somebody, I can't remember his name now, isn't it silly? Um, and he's, he writes poetry and I dip into them. I, I've just got a, I've got a little collection of poet, poetry and then, you know, drop in. I don't write it, but I really enjoy it. And, I'm, you know, I wish I could get it on DVD so you could have it in the house on a CD, if you know what I mean. But I've never explored it and it's difficult to find. But yeah, 
but I think yes, poetry is great. Good. What I what I would like to chip chip in and say that when I was in my teens, about fourteen, fifteen, I was absolutely used to love Rupert Brooke yeah, to yeah. such an extent that I thought that I that I was in 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 love with him. I was crazy about <laughs> about his poems. And I used to read his poems on the school school bus, and I'd get so immersed with them that I sometimes miss my bus stop. And oh, was wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, I used to love Rupert Brooke. <laughs> yeah, you uh, lost your love for him. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, I still I think I still do, but I I now know that he's probably not one of the greatest poets, but he was a very lyrical poet though yes, yes. um very uh, very lyrical and he died he died so young didn't he and he, he was yes. a look, looking young young man as well which which helped <laughs> yes um dies back during the first world war but he didn't die on the battlefield he died yeah, he in a fever, didn't sanatorium he? He, didn't he have t tb or something, something tb like. or something like this yes yeah. he might not have known at the time if he was taken off yeah yeah, and it, it's the, I suppose the fam famous poem is "If I Should Die, Think Only This of Me," but that isn't the one. That yeah. Well, yeah, that that's one that I that I learned by heart. I used to ha be able to say the entire poem, all two, you know, stanzas without any fault. Yeah. I must have been in the curriculum. <laughs> first, first stanza now, but I'm not, I'm not sure I can say the whole poem anymore. <laughs> okay, um, last is Tovi. Last but not least, I think. Well, I'm not really into that. I wasn't, I didn't go to school in England, so I have no other sort of learned any of. Okay, where did like you that. go to school, Toby? In Copenhagen, Denmark. All oh, right, okay. So, so, can you tell us anything about Danish poets or Danish po poetry you learnt at school? Only Hans Christian Andersen. Of course. Yes. I, thought that, I thought that they wrote children's stories in the main. It's, it's not poetry, it's fairy tales. Right, yeah, yeah. Cinderella and all them. Most famous. Yeah. They've made films. Are you films willing to have me. a bash, bash, though? Are you willing to have a bash at trying to write a simple poem, just very simply? No, I don't Very know. easy to do. <laughs> I don't think so. No? Oh, well, you can just listen and, you know, listen to others and um, yeah. enjoy that. Okay. Right, now, I did ask Aggie to ask... To ask you. You. Oh. Are we back to me talking? Yeah. Um, I asked Aggie to ask you all if you could turn up with a purse, wallet or bag. Has anyone got a purse, wallet, or bag? There, one of you. Is no. there one of two of you? Any more? Is it? Everyone but oh. and Minnie mini Mouse over there. Okay. Is it possible for those that haven't to go and fetch their hand handbag or take their purse out and bring it? Be very quick about it. One of you's going. What about Aggie's going as well? Good. Okay. Catch right, you've got your handbag. Right. I think oh, we can waste the bag to come back. Oh, mine's like a sack. Well, that is good because if it's like a sack, it ought to have quite a lot of things in it. I have. You have it. <laughs> This is going to be good. I'm going to sort out my receipts. Ah, yeah, that's what I've got. Loads of the things. I got a bus ticket from the start of August. Well, don't <laughs> yeah, don't um, you know, tell us what is there yet, yeah, Harry, because that that might spoil it a little bit. Just yourself. <laughs> Peggy, Peggy's got a baby in her purse. <laughs> so. Oh. I I think I'm waiting for Aggie to come back because she's. I am. I'm back. I went to take take a pass, but I came back with another addition of my family. <laughs> came okay. back with a child. Right. Yeah, but my husband's going to collect her. They're cooking dinner. They're yeah, cooking right. lunch right now. Okay, that, well, that isn't a purse, Aggie. That's a child. <laughs> <laughs> 
as a child know, with 18-year-old twins. No, but I've got it. <laughs> yeah, that was fine. Oh, that's a child's pencil case? No, it's a purse. Oh, right, okay, it is a purse. Of and course. does it have, have things in it, Aggie? Oh, yes, my, my daughter's savings. <laughs> oh, that, oh, oh. Well. I'm not sure it's going to work, but let's wait and see. <laughs> okay, I just need to take her back to daddy, okay? Okay. Carry on, guys. Just carry on, Liz. It doesn't really easy. Yeah. I can't carry on because I now need Aggie to put up the first poem. Okay. Document A. Okay, I'm back. Oh, all right, could you put, put up the poem, which is document A? Okay. I'd like us all to have it on, its, on the screen. Now, now what I'm going to do is, we're going to look at writing a, what I call a list poem, which is a poem that is based on the idea of making a list. Now, if anyone likes to glance through that, there's a list of things that are found inside the, the poet's purse. And in a minute, I'm going to have you look inside your bags um, or your purses or wallets to see what you can find there to structure your list poem about. But I'm going to start by writing, reading this poem. It's actually a poem that I did write once, and it's called Frag Fragments. In inside my purse, a photo taken in a booth some some somewhere. You and I grinning in inanely. A ticket for a concert we never went to. A voucher for a meal we never claimed. A a hotel receipt. Where where did did we go? A piece of paper with a torn address. A tarnished Saint Christopher you gave me once. A a locket that's missing its silver chain. Inside your wallet, a currency you never spent, a one-way train ticket to a place you never re returned from, scraps of paper, on one of them my number. That photo taken in a booth somewhere when we were young and the future was some, something impossible to fathom, a discarded ring, that missing silver chain. Okay. So we can get rid of the poem now, Aggie. And so I'd like to go through and just say some thoughts about the poem and what you think the poet, the poet is saying about the relationship. Anything at all, please don't like, you know, censor the things you want to say, you know. You can say that you hate, hate the po the you know, poem. I'm not, not going to mind at all. I really won't. <laughs> Um, some, some thoughts about that poem and what it's saying about that relationship. If we start with you, Aggie. Oh. I've got that poem come up again on my screen. I don't know how to get rid of it. Um, shall we start with maybe with participants? Because I'm like a facilitator, so I, I'd rather concentrate on you know, helping you, Elizabeth. Maybe we can uh, we can ask other people. Maybe okay. Well, let's let's start with Stella then, please. I think it. I think in this purse, I think it's somebody that's been in a relationship a yeah. long time with somebody. Yeah, because they seem to be like you know the things that mementos and things. Um, yeah. And do you think that's a relationship that works out well? Or no, no, I think it's a relationship that was. Yeah, no. I think it's something that was. The discarded ring, I don't know what, whether that's something that was given to her and she didn't, actually she decided not to wear it anymore. Um, but what, like her engagement? But I think that she's kept <laughs> photographs. I think the, another person might actually died and this is like a... In oh, I never thought of that. It could have been. Hmm. I never thought of that. This, like, um, uh, a one-way train ticket to a place you never returned from. So something maybe this might, might, might mean something more. Yeah, or it could have been the relationship broke up. Perhaps. Yeah, it could be. Yeah. 
right so that's what i think it i think it's i never thought of the dying bit but i think it's more of a broken relationship yes. and the yeah. one-way ticket was purposely bought as a one-way ticket so that they didn't they weren't ever going to come back right good stella yes that's what i think right shall we move on to some s someone else yes please <laughs> <laughs> Kathy, what do you think? Um, I, I was thinking. Um, is it? This is Julia. Um, oh yeah. I was thinking it was somebody sitting beside the bedside of their husband or partner, and he's very ill, and she's got these. She's she's sitting there, and she wants to talk, and she wants to bring memories, and she's just going through her bag, and. And, and comforting with remembering things and, and laughing at what they did do. And, uh, you know, the voucher for a meal we never claimed is because perhaps they went off to the park instead. And Oh, Julia, to, to, that's given me goose pumps, that. Oh. That's really lovely. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, but that's how it struck me. And, you know, and then bits and pieces in her, her, her bag that had got to the bottom of her pocket. And then when she goes to his wallet, because he'd been sitting in the bedside table, and she says, oh, I never realised a currency. Yeah, you know, when they came back from some holiday and it's all memories along yeah. the way. Yes. Uh, and, and she can't remember some of these things. I just oh, thought it was so a sort lovely. of... Uh, uh, other, you know, you that sort one. of thing. Because otherwise I don't like, know why she's got her, her wallet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she also finds the missing silver chain that goes with the locket that she's got in her, her purse. Yes. Mm. Yeah, ties it all up. I mean, that's only my first reading, but that's how I felt it. Yeah. No, well, there's some really good thoughts there. Pat, Pat, if you've got any, anything that you want want to add? What do you think, Kathleen? Um, I think it's it's obviously a relationship that's ended, um, and it's not clear whether it was a deliberate ending. Um, and they're looking, or she's looking back from the present time to the past, but it's not clear why it ended. You know, was it deliberate? Did he take a train to somewhere and didn't come back? Did he choose to not come back? Was it, it's like unrequited love. Hmm. Mm. Very good. Well, anyone else? I I can't see who else is there. There ought to be Toby somewhere. Yeah. Uh, Audrey, any, any thoughts? Um, well, it just reminded me of um, Sasha, my daughter. She looks after a lady who's got um, severe dementia and she's always emptying out her handbag. And that was, that was quite sad. I, the whole thing for me was quite sad. And also as an ex-nurse, uh, I used to have to take the patient's property and write it all down and get it checked in a book. And, and that made me really think of all the past ladies that I've had to deal with. So really, it's quite a sad, mm. sad thing for me to listen to. Mm. Very, you know, heart rendering, but uh, made you think, actually. Mm. All right. Anyone else want to add any thoughts? Or shall we move on? To me, it sounds, it sounds like somebody like I did. I met, I met my husband in Denmark and he was English, I was Danish. And to me, it seems, it seems like they, they got together, but it ended because one had to go to another country. Right. Hmm. So there's some like, you know, regrets about the loss, about what it might have been, perhaps. Yeah. If it had been yes. allowed to carry on. Okay. Um, I'd like to go back to the main page, Aggie, because I've still got the poem there on the screen. So if I can okay. go back to the main screen. Yep. Yeah. Uh, what I would like to say is that I am very impressed by all your, um, you know, comments about it and some of you've gone really deep and you've got quite a lot from that poem that was really just a simple little poem built on this list idea um 
But what I also found very interesting, I thought how each of you brought your own life, you know, experience to, to it. And I'm not going to even attempt to tell you my thoughts about why I wrote the poem and what I thought the narrative was, because in a way I didn't have any narrative. I, I just let the list speak for its, itself. And the, the main thing is about a poem is that as a reader, we bring our own world to the poem. It's a, the things you said have, can never be judged as right or wrong because you're bringing yourself to the poem and that's how you kind of reinterpret interpret it and yeah, I thought that was lovely and I think you all said some things that were very moving and true. Um, now I want you to do a bit of work. I want you to look inside your purses and your bags and take out, let's start with five, see if you can take out five items from your bag or purse. So you're going to take out five items and write them down as a list. It doesn't matter the order. It can be like a, a credit card for the TSB or a, a bus, you know, ticket to go to Bristol. It doesn't matter. Just write down the five items that you take out. Okay. So we'll have a couple of minutes to do that. And then I'm going to ask you in turn just to share your, your list of items. Make you laugh, Stella. You are. I'm going to make you laugh. I, can, I already know it. <laughs> I found a good thing. So have I. Is it something naughty? Not really. <laughs> I hope just, so. Just, just funny. Love it. One, two, three, four. Okay, is everyone getting there? Yeah, I'm there. You need a little bit more time, some of you. I think Aggie has left left the room again. No, I am not. No, she's there. <laughs> right, is everyone more more or less finished? Yes. Yes, thank yeah. you. Yep. Okay, can we start with a volunteer just to read? Just read it out, just read their list out. They don't have to add any words, just read it out. Right, so Kat. Okay, I've got a receipt for some DVDs I've recently bought. I've got a driver's license. I've got a disposable mask. I've got a mobile phone and a voucher to spend at Lakeland. Oh, oh how nice. <laughs> And anyone else? I've got a driving license, a dog poo bag, oh. <laughs> tablets, right. a religious verse, and a club card. Oh, yours are good. I think there's a bit of meat there. Mm. Okay. Anyone else? Yeah. I've got a fork. My back is very like from before the lockdown because I don't use my back anymore. So I've got like a wooden fork for my salad. <laughs> <laughs> a key to my locker, to work locker. Saint Anthony from my grandma. Oh. Uh, signed for loss. Lo yeah, not to lose your purse or back. So he's the same <laughs> of lost lost things, see? Yes, exactly. Okay. And I've got my earplugs to listen to music and a waitress card. <laughs> right. Okay. Anyone else? Yeah, I've got a, I've got a bus pass and a notebook with a pen because I don't remember things. Um, a receipt from a 
for a parcel that's gone to Germany so that I can reclaim it if it gets lost, um, a handkerchief and um, some paracetamol okay. for strangers going past. And I don't, I don't actually use them very often, but I often get people having a headache and they say, anybody got some paracetamol? So I usually carry some. <laughs> Good, lovely. Right, Audrey, perhaps? Yeah. What? Scooter permit to go on the bus with my picture. Uh, a nice picture of Sasha flying with somebody accompanying her. She jumped out of a plane for charity a few years ago. Nice. A USB stick. Can't go anywhere without that. <laughs> my daughter's um, work card, just in case I get lost and they can contact. And some loose change. That's okay. That's about it. I like the loose loose chain. <laughs> um, I think it's just Tovey, but I don't know if you're you're taking part in actually doing this, Tovey. No, I haven't. I no. haven't got. I haven't got my bag here. I've got my oh, own. What's I'm Harry got? Come on, oh, Harry. Harry. Oh, we need Harry. Cause I don't know whether to. Um, I, I already sort of made it a thing. But I won't. I won't bother. Um, I've got a bus ticket for. When oh, bus. Do you want the stories behind things or just no, the things? No. Just the things. Oh, yeah. Bus ticket. Um a oyster card for for London. Uh a library card. A membership card for a climbing, a climbing centre. And a loyalty card for a pub. Lots of cards. <laughs> Oh, yeah. That was the one for you, Stella. Look, that only two like left. We'll get a free Guinness. <laughs> okay. Right. Now, what I would like you to do with that list and those items, I would like you to rearrange them whichever way you like best, but to extend them into a sentence. So instead of just saying a bus, bus ticket, you know, tell us where the bus bus ticket is going to instead of just saying um i don't know let me think uh that it's um um lo uh, a, bit hard, a bit hard for me to say but i basically want you to extend it into a sentence so you're going to describe the thing more more fully but when you do your rearranging i'm trying to get you to convey i would like you to convey some idea about a relationship now, this doesn't have to be a like love, you know, relationship. This could be a relationship with a parent, with a child, with a with a best friend, or anyone, right? But it, you're by doing your list and extending your sentences, you're trying to put across something about this relationship. So, if I could just give you a few minutes to do that, and then I'm going to ask you all of those that want to take part to to share. Okay, to read it out. Okay, so we have a couple of minutes. Shall I put, shall I put your uh, number oh, well. first poem as an inspiration, maybe? Well, it, yes, just as a basic guide guideline, because you can see how I've ex, ex, extended my list. Yes. Okay. So we have about five five minutes, yes? Yeah. To do that. And I might just leave the room for a couple of minutes, but I will be back. It's locked
Right, how's it going, everyone? I've done What's three. <laughs> Right, another minute, I think. Yes, yeah, Is that long enough for all of you, yeah. Yes. Okay, most of you look like you've finished, yes? Yep. So let's stop now. Um, now, if anyone doesn't want to share their work, that's fine. Just, you know, just say that you're not ready to share. But I am, you're hoping that you'll be brave, brave enough. There is no right, there is no wrong. And we're, we're all very kind, open-hearted you know, people. So you're amongst friends here. Okay. And... You are not going to be judged, certainly not not by me. But I'm going to ask if anyone would like to volunteer first to read what it is that they have written. Okay. Any volunteers? My cat. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't make sense, but um, a driver's license, no longer used as I've sold my car, a disposable mask, a sign of these COVID times, with lockdown and staying home more than desired, a receipt for DVDs to watch, a mobile phone for necessity, um, for, to, for necessary contacts through isolation, and uh, a voucher to spend at Lakeland when things get back to normal. Okay, <laughs> that, was, that was very good. <laughs> and very, very apt to the times that we are living in. Yeah. I mean, I'm not sure it told a story about a, you know, relationship. But it's, it's a relationship about it, isolation. COVID. Yes, yes, it is. COVID, it it's is. It's certainly told a story and it all hung like, you know, together. You know, yeah, it had an answer. Yes, very good. <laughs> and very, very brave of you to volunteer to share that. <laughs> Anyone else? Stella? A driving, a driving license so I can get out and about and still enjoy the places I once went with my beautiful friend. A dog poo bag, now redundant, oh. as my best friend has gone to the Rainbow Bridge. Oh. Tablets to keep me going through the day. A club card for Hobbycraft to encourage me to continue with my pastime and take my 
my mind of the loss of my fur boy, I still feel. A religious verse which reminds me that Jesus is my friend and won't ever go away. Very nice, Stella. Very nice. And that's a relationship about you and your dog, I think, isn't it? And about... Yeah. And it's about loss. It's about how things change and move on. And one has to learn how to live with that, with that loss. That was lovely. Okay, very good. Anyone else? Yes, I'll do one. What about Julia? Yeah. Uh, as I go out the door, I check that my bus pass is in my purse and not in my other coat. My list has Andrew's parcel high up on the list to post and to and to keep the receipt. I know he needs the tools and he will be so pleased. I wish I could be with him. Thank goodness I've had my hanky just in case I feel tearful. But I won't need the tablets today, hopefully, to suck us some other poor soul. Mm. That's really good. It, yours, yours almost read like a short story, didn't yeah. you? Very full. For, you know, your. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. It's no, no that know. is fine. That is fine. Yeah. There is, there's no. Please don't, don't apologise. There is no right and wrong. It just might be that the voice that you use in your writing is more geared towards a short story than a poem. But that is fine. But you know, I, I think in your case, you could cut curtail some of those lines to make it sound more like a poem but as it was it was fine it was a lovely piece of writing it was really nice very nice um okay anyone else what about oh. audrey what about you would you like to share yeah um I, i'm a bit um it's like I've done the same sort of thing as Julia, but well, never mind. Um, that doesn't matter. Sorry. That's 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 um, fine. That's absolutely fine. It's literature, uh, Audrey. Um, that's the thing. <laughs> so I'll start then. I missed out one the currency. I couldn't fit that in in the time. Um, my small purse contains my hole. Without it, I'm adrift. It holds my bus scooter permit to travel on and go and see my nearest and dearest eldest daughter, who will put on my photos of the grandchildren on my USB stick. And her sister flying high, she will put that in a nice frame for me using my ATM card. That's mm -hmm. what's happening. Okay. It's not really a poem, is it? Like it, no, yeah. no, but it was lovely though, and it certainly told a story. It had a narrative arc, and it told a story, and it was lovely. Harry, what's uh, your Harry? Because uh, yours got a sort of a. Um, I read it. Uh, it's, I don't know if it's a poem, but there we go. Um, it's a bus ticket for when I couldn't fit a surfboard on my bike. Uh, oyster card in case I ever. Oh, sorry, sorry. The relationship is uh, like myself and and travel basically. For, I okay. Guess, for that or or something, I suppose. Uh, yeah, bus ticket for when I couldn't fit a surfboard on my bike. An oyster card in case I ever go back. Two membership cards: one to take out a world of books to open my mind, and one to visit a climbing centre I don't visit. Loyalty card for my old local, now far across town, two stamps away from a free Guinness. Mm. <laughs> That's very good. Mm. Right. Okay, um, Aggie. I don't know. I don't know. Heard yours. I no? Don't know. no, you want to leave it? Okay. Right. Well, look, I think that we're running out of time because we've been about an hour and mm. I'm. Um, I wasn't certainly planning to be more than an hour. I did have something else that I wanted us to do, but if it's okay with Aggie, I could come back perhaps in a few weeks and we could, you know, carry on and have another session. Yeah, that'd be good. That would be lovely, Liz. Yeah, yeah, I really like that. Yes, yeah, okay. I don't write poetry, but I, yeah, I really enjoyed it. Now, now those really of you that want to, I'm going to ask Aggie to put up the piece of paper entitled C. And now I think she's also going to send that out or has sent it out to, to you via your e emails. Um, and I would like you to have a go for your home homework on choosing Ooh. 
chooses five or six of those things. No, choose four of those things and add two more of your own choice and see if you can do a list po poem. So can that's I just, making, can that's I making a list that is going to just, you know, describe a relationship of some kind, putting it into an order and extending the sentences. I've just sent this to everyone by uh, chat. So you know that you saw, you see those words, but I'm yeah. going to share the screen as well. So if okay. you can copy. So that's choosing four of those items and adding two of your own. Now, they can be two of the things that, that you find in your bag or wallet or purse, or you can just make them up. They can be anything. So that gives you lots of scope. Um, I would like you still to focus on describing a relationship. And I am going to tie you down on this because I want you to actually describe a relationship that you have in real life. And that is with a person. So this is where you're going to like be challenged a bit because I know some of us maybe don't like to quite go there, but I'm going to ask you to try to go there. All right. So because that makes the strongest poems when you get into the heart stuff. Okay. So have a go. Um, and I would join you in a few weeks time at a date that Aggie can, you know, talk, talk to me about later. And we'll start off with hearing your home homework. And Can I be ever so cheeky? When yeah. I, when Aggie sent me all the stuff and I had a look at it, it all it all sort of like it starts my brain off. It, it takes a lot usually, but it starts it off. And I wrote one of my ditty poems. Can I read it to you? Or is yeah, that yeah, of course. Yes, it's, yes. Pam it's not Pam Ayers, but it's one of the you know. <laughs> so what is there inside my purse? All but the kitchen sink. And if my purse were bigger, there'd be that in there. I think. Inside my purse, whose contents seem to grow? Why do I keep this stuff? I really do not know. There's credit cards I mustn't use, or I'll get in a pickle. But then again, I probably will, because I am quite fickle. A picture of each grand boy, of whom I am so proud. I know they say that pride's a sin, but I'm sure this one's allowed. There are tablets that I have to take to stop me feeling poorly and money, which I like to have. And if I don't, I miss it sorely. So that's a small trip round my purse. Why don't you look in yours and be surprised at what's inside and just what your purse stores? Wow. That's the sort of stuff. Well, like a second slam ad. You are, you really are. No, that's, but that's the sort of, I, do you know what I mean? It has yeah. to, usually, it has to yeah. run. You Bella. do have a real gift for ver for um, rhyme, but you have a real gift for what I call like you know scansion because it all fits. What's it called? Like yeah. you know, scansion, like like the rhythm of the lines. They all oh. fitted. It didn't feel forced. Yes. It wasn't out of rhythm. It was great. Oh no, it has to be in rhythm. Yeah. Oh, I, I don't yeah. like it. If it goes out of rhythm, I rewrite it. Can I please so ask? Can I please? A lot, there's a lot of people who don't have that. In innate sense of rhythm, you know, they just don't really have it. But yours, you, but Stella does, you know, right oh, bang okay. on there. And can I please ask everyone who's willing to share your poem <laughs> with, uh, with, with everyone else who didn't, who couldn't join us today, if you would like to share that with, with the rest of the people, you can please, you could email me or Harry your poems and we can send it out to people for, you know, for inspiration and... Yeah, for their, for their views. For, them, yeah. for their views as well. That would perhaps be, that yeah. might encourage a few more to join us next time because I had a secret fear that when they read that they were going to have to write a poem that they might have backed out. And I thought, oh no, I don't want to do, do that, you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No, I think it's, I mean, I know Sue and Marg who normally come, they would have been, but they're just making the most of the nice weather because it's, you know, I think everybody's, you know. Yeah. So uh, next week, folks, um, we've booked uh, someone from Exmouth, actually. He's a Tai Chi instructor. Um, right. Who all kinds of odd <laughs> oddities. Yeah. I is that sort of, aha, you know, all that, is that? Yeah, all that, all that, Stella. So, um <laughs> He's just going to do a little taster, see if you enjoy it. Um, he just, I just met him and he said he was interested. Um, he can do it from Sounds six. interesting. Mm. Um, see how it goes. I think so. Uh, I'm, I might pop in and join, but I'm not really working next week. So uh, 
Um, but I so think we, yeah, we're meeting two o'clock. We we uh, merging two groups again next so, Tuesday yeah, at two o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you for today. Thank you, Liz. It was really interesting. It was lovely. It was yeah. fascinating. Thank you all, all for joining in and for working so hard and doing such such great work. I'm really, really impressed with you know with your efforts. Thank you. And you know, Liz, I hope you can join us next week as well for sure. Tai Chi. Yes, I will try. <laughs> <laughs> I will try. <laughs> and also, just to let you know that the following week, on 29th, we, we will have Krisha's husband, Eric, who will be doing some storytelling with us. And then hopefully, what? after that, we can, we can have a session with Lise again. Storytelling, okay. Lydia. Yeah. Yes, right, storytelling. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to sign off, off now. So look yes, yes, we will off. Seeing you all again, perhaps next Tuesday. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. I hope you all had a really lovely breakfast. We didn't. We don't have time for for that. <laughs> <laughs> bye. bye.